Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Huckabee Sanders just floored everyone with nine-year-old admission on Trump. In the midst of all the drama that is going on today, it would do us a wonder of good to take time to appreciate the little things, the good things that go on around us. One such memorable incident happened last summer and it still makes me smile every time I think of it. I bet it will make you feel good as well. DC can be a very ugly place. But it is also a place where warriors fight for us every day. A giant among them is President Trump who has fought the establishment politicians every step of the way. But even there, life-affirming and uplifting things warm our hearts. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders moved all of America when she read a nine-year-old's letter to President Trump to the press corps assembled at the White House. Sarah said it was a moment to remember the forgotten men, women, and children that we're here to serve and that the president is fighting for. And it was. It reminds each of us that we all matter and the biggest truths many times come out of the smallest of Americans, our children. According to the Washington Times, the letter came from a young man named Dylan. However, he notes that everybody calls me Pickle. I love that nickname and it harkens back to a much simpler time. It looks like Trump has a devoted new friend. In the letter that was dated June 1st, the little boy calls Trump his favorite president and says he had a Trump-themed birthday party. My cake was in the shape of your hat he said. He was referring to Trump's signature red Make America Great Again cap. Dylan also had a list of questions for President Trump which Sarah read. How old are you? How big is the White House? Ho w much money? Sick, do you have? The letter cheerfully read. Ah, the innocence of children. The left asks that question so they can examine Trump's tax returns and bank accounts. Dylan asks it so he can become great like his president. I don't know why people don't like you, he continued. Sanders responded, Me either, Dylan. I think most of us felt that way when we heard this letter and we still feel that way. You semi nice can we be friends? He concluded, while noting he'd included his picture. He's a cute kid by the way. Sanders at the time said that she hoped that Dylan was watching at home because the president wanted me to personally tell you hello. Dylan, thanks for writing to the president, Sanders said. And if you're ever in Washington, D.C., I hope you'll stop by and let us show you around the White House. And Dylan did go to the White House which is in itself another story. The touching letter went viral. Americans couldn't get enough of it. They are starved for good, clean innocent patriotism. The San Diego Union Tribune entitled its article on the incident, Everyone's Talking About Dylan, Age 9. Donald Trump is his favorite president. It wasn't just an adorable moment, it showed that the White House press room was going to be a lot different under Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And boy has it. Sanders is a tigress and has handled every confrontation from the lamestream media with grace and aplomb. Regardless of whether they attack her looks, her speech or her morals. She's a devout Christian, a devoted mother and the best press secretary I think we have ever had. The media hates to cover stuff like this because it makes President Trump look good. In fact, they go out of their way to bury press like this. They would rather focus on soap opera drama and all things Russian, except the ones that actually matter. Anything that makes the president look bad or inept is what they strive for. But Americans no longer buy that crap. They love their president and equally hate the media these days. And one little boy named Pickle certainly loves President Trump. The media should take notes and a lesson from this kid. Appearing on Fox and Friends, Dylan's mother, Sue Ann Harbin, said the pair would definitely take the White House up on its offer to have them tour Trump's residence. Their television appearance dismissed suspicions held by some that Dylan, nicknamed Pickle, was not real and that the letter had been faked. There's no way a nine-year-old boy wrote that. I work with kids and any kid who is called Pickle and wants to be buddies with Trump ain't real, a social media user wrote on Twitter. That's a typical leftist response and it was pushed by the Washington Post. No big surprise there. Dylan told Fox News anchors that he wrote the president because I wanted him to be my friend. His mother said she had not influenced her son. It was all him. He did everything, she said. Sue Ann said her son is so excited that the White House responded to the letter. She also added that they received little warning before Sanders read the letter publicly. It was a complete surprise. We were at a Giants game and they had called right before we went into the stadium and they said, Hi, this is so and so from the White House and we're calling to let you know that we received Pickle's letter and that they're going to read it at the press conference in about 20 minutes, she told Fox News. When asked why he admires Trump, Dylan said, because he's a smart businessman and I like all of his suits. Pickle did get his tour and he got to meet President Trump from what I understand. 
and the only propaganda here is what came from the left and the media which no one, and I mean no one, listened to. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.